So now uh, we are learning how to uh, integrate uh, the service from ArcGIS Online. Now for the first, we have to add the shape file into the desktop. Okay, now you can look, this is the shape file of the world. And uh, the coordinate system is uh, WGS84, latitude, longitude. Then next, we have to select the other different uh, for the Google Map coordinate system. So now we open the folder. And this folder will be um, in here when you install the SuperG server, program file SuperG server, API, Google Map. Okay, now we select the uh, WGS84 Googles. Click OK. Then now uh, we have to assign another coordinate to layers. Now you can see this is layers. And uh, tap the coordinate system. You select, then browse. Now we select the Google Mercator. Okay, this is a projection name. So we select, then click OK. Then now we zoom to the there, so you can see the map after projected. Okay, this is the projected uh, world map, just like this. So we now we uh, save the file SGD to the C drive, and we create a new folder. That's just a name um, like a GM1, and we save the project file as one. Okay, number one. Let me close it. Okay, next we have to publish the third service. Okay, so we select uh, SuperGeo and uh, select to server. If you are the first time to use this one, uh, SuperG server, you have to run the post installation. Okay, you just uh, click setup provider. When you see this right now, that means you haven't set up well. Okay, you just click a setup provider and install, then click, click start. Okay, now we have the SuperG server service. So we can, um, now we are ready to publish the map service. Now we go to manager. And maybe one or two seconds, you will see a login screen. Okay, now we log in the username and password. Then we log in. Yeah, and we select a publish uh, service. And I can see the folder, the subfolder public. Okay, this is the previous uh, subfolders here. And for Google Map, uh, you want to, uh, as a background, you have to create a subfolder here. But now we cannot delete it by this way. So we have to, now I show you how to delete the exist subfolder. You just select public, then select the right, the service, and delete it. Now I just delete the subfolder public. Okay, now this is a default resource. And now we new a subfolder named public. P U B L I C. Okay. In our case, then click OK. Then click public. And click new. I mean, I want to uh, add a new main service. You type in the service name as a GM1, GM1. And here, document. You have to type in the full project path and file name. So I go to my computer. Go to the C drive, GM1, and select one. Okay, I copy it. Then add a slash with a one dot SGD. Okay, this is a full pass to publish the service. I copy it, then paste on document line here. Then click OK. Just a few seconds, you will see a new service here. 
and click config. Check on use check uh, cache that you define below. Okay. Now next we have to uh, define the Google Map scale. So now we can refer to the help server help server to server help, and we select the integrating with other platform. Okay, now we select the over laying Google Map on SubG server, click the, okay, click this chapter, publishing map cache service. Now this is a Google Map scale. So we copy it and paste here, click add. And just keep copy the scale number and paste. Because this is the Google Map scale. Okay. We copy and paste and copy the scale numbers and paste here. Click add. Okay. Actually, there are maybe 20 or 21 scale here. So we just uh, for the practice. I just do the six or five scales here. Okay. Actually, you can uh, you should uh, keep on the copy and paste the Google Map scale here. Now, but just for the practice, I just uh, show you the process. Okay. Now we go back to the program files. Super to you server, current API, and uh, Google Map. You can see some additional file here, including the project file and uh, this text file. This text file tell you, you should input the scale, the boundary, and origin. Okay, this is original like, uh, for the Google Map. So you copy this one as the X and paste here and copy the second one and paste in Y text box. Yeah, make sure. You have to make sure the two number X and Y is the same as the origin in the text file. And click OK. Yeah, just make sure again. Uh, as for boundary, I think uh, you can you don't have to change. But here you change the width as uh, and the height as two five six, and click OK. And now we create our Ultra website. We click next, name the virtual name A O one. Click on support map cache. Then we check on all the options. Name the titles. Click next. And now we have to modify some script. So now we use a manage IIS, open the size. So this is L1, this is a website. So right click, explore. Here's the web cache file. So now we are going to modify this web page. The sample is in uh, program files, super geo, server, client API, JavaScript. Okay, in a sample folder, we find the sample 20. It open with notepad. Okay, now we have to copy the first line here. Copy it. And uh, open map cached with uh, notepad. And then paste to here. Okay, you have to enter and copy this line. And now we copy the whole function here from sample from sample twenty to here. Yeah, to here. Okay. Paste here. Okay. And we re rename the function name as initial one. Copy it, 
and test here. Okay, test here. <coughs> so, and now we have to add the ArcGIS online map layer. So we go back to here. You have to make sure the function initial win is the same here and there. Now we go back to sample, copy this line, okay, and paste to here. We we create a new object here, there, p there, equals to this. And copy this line, map base and layer to here. Yes, yeah, the same. We have to Okay, now we rename the variable as a layer A. Okay, now pass here. We add layer A here. Okay, make sure layer A and layer A here and there. Then we save the web page. Close. We we'll go back to the website, right click browse the website and we refresh it now you can see there's a web base from ArcGIS online and with the SuperGIS server server we zoom in to check out the background map turn off now you can see this is a map from the ArcGIS online. Turn on it, you can overlay it. Yeah, you can overlay it. So we pan around. This is the ArcGIS online integrate with the SuperGIS server. Yeah, that's the whole step. Thank you.